Riding along with Denny Hamlin and that Toyota on board as they come out of turn four for the final time before we see the green flag racing at Richmond. Tyler Reddick started up front with Kyle Busch in that front row, but Reddick has separated himself early. Two by two behind him, though. Denny Hamlin in the 11. Looking already, trying to take second away from Bush. Truex way up the racetrack there in turn three and four. The 19 losing a few spots. Locked up the left front tire, I believe. Yeah, I couldn't tell if it's a left front or left rear. I agree with you, Junior. I saw smoke and up the hill he went. And now he hears on the, the three wide top with two Bass Pro cars in the mix. Is it four wide now as we see that 22 of Joey Logano throwing it in right in front of Ross Chastain. Stays three wide. Austin Dillon in the three on the inside, the 14. But there of Chase Briscoe in the middle of that sandwich and the 19 of Martin Trex Jr. outside of him. Denny Hamlin and Bob Wallace battle for second on the bottom of your screen. You got to keep battling here because you cannot see second place behind you. So you recognize that. You know Reddick has no reason to push really hard right here. So you got to make him take this spot away. See, you cannot see second place in the mirror. So you know, take advantage of that. Reddick doesn't want to get in a wreck early. Put him in a position where he's got to lift. Great stage for 23-11 as Tyler Reddick's getting ready to come back to the checkered flag. And he's been stingy. For a driver who has never led a lap on a short track, he's about to lead his 70th lap today. And not another driver has been out front. Suarez is going to stay on that lead lap. And it is Tyler Reddick grabbing his fourth stage win this season. That is his most ever in a season. So Reddick gets the win of stage one. Bubba Wallace, his teammate at 23-11. And we heard Denny Hamlin say that these three cars are all set up the same. So they finish one, two, three. Well, Grant catch another car to put another car lap down. Blaney is the next car at the end of the at the tail end of the field. And I don't think that Brad gets there. So this is the race. The 48 and the 5 is the race for the free pass when this caution comes out. Brad. And they are leaning on each other back there. Man, look <laughs> literally, at that. literally touching as they go through the turn three and four one more time around in stage two. It's the battle right here. Brad's going to win the stage. This right here is a battle for the free pass. Bowman or Larson? Bowman has the spot right now. And you mentioned it, Keselowski. Yes, he's going to win the stage by a long shot. A last effort to get in front of Bowman. <laughs> the five, you can see him sideways off the corner, just could not get it done. So Keselowski, his third stage win this year and at Richmond. They see what Chris Buescher and Brad Keselowski are doing at the racetrack week in and week out as we've got a spin in turn four and a caution has come out for the restart. Daniel Suarez around backwards. Yeah, it looks like there you see Scott Graves right there instantly going to work on the radio. What do we need? We know we're coming to pit road. Daniel Suarez has got turned around. Put this in the in the hands of the crews on pit road. Noah Gregson and Suarez contact into turn three. Suarez goes around the big smoke screen and the caution has come out. Okay, Steve, now you have so much pressure on these crews. The crews have to have a perfect stop. It's going to be a four tire stop for everybody. Everybody's going to pit. Everybody's going to take four tires. You're going to have to have a perfect stop. And what does I Chris Buescher think he has the right to peel the 11 right. off after what he saw last <laughs> week? That's what I would have rather heard from the spotter to say, remember what he did. Why don't you do the same thing? Here we go. It'll be three to go. Busher on the inside. Hamlin on the outside. Green flag back in the air. That's a good launch for the 17. Priest in the 41 side by side with the 11. Then he comes on the outside. A big run. Logano as well in the 22. He moves to the outside. But Hamlin has closed the gap. Three wide for third. 
Hamlin's car is better right now. Bush is going to have to block. Under two oh, to go. Denny locks up the left front. He's up the racetrack. I bet Joey Logano, where did he come from? Logano fighting for that second spot now. Hamlin trying to regroup. They're side by side for second. Hamlin back out into that second spot. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Chris Busher, after a dominant performance, 86 laps out in front, down the back stretch for the final time. The 30-year-old from Prosper, Texas, which, by the way, has a population of 30,000, is going to win in front of more here in the Richmond. Busher wins at the short track. How are you guys? They're wrecking in the back of the field. Cars spinning around backwards on the front straightaway. Cindric's involved. Almondinger, we see him riding it now. The 77 also has gone around and tied Dillon. All these cars stayed out and got the way around on all the tires. The and they wrecked for a lap. Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> they finally had it. What a great day for Busher. Roush Fenway, Kozlowski racing to go to victory lane himself as a driver. You mentioned RFK. Keselowski and Busher combined led 189 laps. They were the top two lap leaders in this race. The caution laid in this one made it harder for Busher. But what a launch he had on the restart. This checkered flag moment brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. coming off wait what was your what was your thought when that caution came out Chris what were you thinking because you had it in hand yeah it was um smooth sailing there trying to take care of this pass on Mustang and uh, his guys over at RFK the 1710 gave me a great hot rod this thing was so good and um just trying to take care of it there and uh about the time Scott came ready he said that's working perfect keep, keep it up caution <laughs> I was like, yeah that's about right but I knew uh, even on our green flag stuff, we were so strong during the race. So I had a good feeling about it there. So pretty awesome to pull it off. Uh, proud of everybody because that was, that was a long way from the back this morning. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> heck of a race for us. It was seven days ago that I was talking to your crew chief, Scott Graves, and he said, we're a sixth to 15th place car right now. As an organization, we need to take a step forward. Are you surprised it came so quickly and in such dominant fashion? Um, We've had this one circle since last fall, so uh, I was really hopeful this could be the one that would uh, turn the page for us. And and sure enough, right off the truck, I I, I thought it was. So um, I hate that, that qualifying went the way it did because I was sitting there just beat myself up trying to figure out what we're going to do from there. But um, made the victory lane here in Richmond. I'd, uh, I told you to flood this place three years ago. So uh, <laughs> my opinions are changing quite a bit here. And um, man, what, what a day there. That's that's awesome. I know it was fun racing the boss. Is there a way to describe to the fans here and the fans at home how much work has gone into this for RFK to get back to victory lane? Probably not. Um, I mean, there's so much that's happened in uh, in 15 years I've been there. Uh, but the last two years, eight, last 18 months, just to see the turnaround, uh, new car kind of being a good reset for us to be able to be competing for wins at a lot of different styles of racetracks and a uh, couple, couple checkered flags now, uh, some great pit strategy there, some great pit stops. Uh, you know, it's every department working hard to make this happen and uh, and get us this, this checkered flag. We've been talking about this a lot, and um, you don't get to ask me about points anymore. There you go. No more talk about points because they are guaranteed, Rick, to be in the playoffs. Chris Busher, the 17 team, they'll be a playoff player this year with the win here at Richmond. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.